right guys welcome back to my channel and yeah I'm at it again I can't help myself now in my last videos I had a bit of a rant about AEGs from KWA but quality control is the big issue now when you're paying more for something you expect better quality when you're paying less for something well you expect to do some stuff with it upgrades and various things now here's the weird part I've got a couple of guns here one of which is extremely rare one company has only ever brought this one into airsoft and I do mean one and the other one is a boneyard job that I bought myself mainly because I, I wanted it anyway by the way that, that's not the point quality control you pay big bucks for something you expect it to work not to be sent out from the factory with faults then you go out and buy it thinking you're getting something great and it doesn't happen and it, it happens right across the board but the cheaper brands seem to focus more on the internals and the quality of them with cheaper externals I wonder what would happen if you put the dear brands with the better quality internals together you'd end up with a great pew pew but talking about external quality now this gun I've had for getting on nearly four years now and it has not broke it's had thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds through it <sighs> yes my new pro ARAK21 of known by the Americans where it's actually given birth the AR I'm always going to say that again stupid the ARC 21 it's turned out to be a phenomenal bit of kit long barreled with my scopes on it and all my little dressings and this that and the other but a real doozy of an airsoft pew pew and it's rare nobody has ever made this body style before or since not one now the real version of this has dual ejecting left and right you can change out the barrels for bigger calibers the magazine well will host the bigger caliber magazines as well as the 556 five, rounds which this is based on now it is quite a weighty gun but when I researched the real steel version of it I found that this has got quite a lot of qualities of it like that bottom plate there actually unscrews off to remove the inner barrel and it's a brilliant bit of engineering the gun works beautifully absolutely beautifully and it feels right it feels right in the hand you know and I've taken out quite a lot of uh, airsofting jumps with this bad boy and this is one of the lower budget ones from Upro who have disappeared off the radar Mm, wonder why probably because they wanted to get away from the reputation of being budget but why is it the budget guns actually work better than some of the high-end ones well, like I like say this has not failed me period that's all oh, I got a battery handy let's see if this pew pew is going to make me have to be a bit of a fibber let's give it a shot 
come on, now you come plug. Right, I'm just going to dangle the battery out of the back of this for argument's sake. Wrong plug. <coughs> right plug. Now, I've converted a lot of mine to T plugs now. Mainly, oh, I don't want 11 one in it. Don't like 11 ones in this. I'm having a bit of trouble finding a battery, but I know I've got one. I know I've got one. Here it is. I might even give this a bit of a pew actually. I want to play with it again. I like this gun. Right. Get on there. Now with your T plugs, you do get a much stronger bit. Boom, there it goes, it's on. It's on and it's in. Pop in the cover plate, pop on the back plate. Hit select, point in safe direction. Does work a lot faster with 11 1, but I prefer 7 4s. It works really, really well. And it shoots respectably straight. Now, there is a little bit of wobble between upper and lower receiver but there are ways of fixing that which isn't a huge issue and to be perfectly honest for the money I paid for it I'm quite happy to use it as is you know what more can you ask for from a pew pew after nearly four years Nothing's been touched on this. Just a barrel clean and a hot rubber clean. And it's still going strong. Not lost any FPS. Works like a dream. So yeah. The new Pro. Makes more expensive brands look pretty stupid. And this company got a butt ripping reputation for not being good something's not quite right with this picture this is still working and some more expensive brands are not but there is another brand out there well actually two in the AEG family that <laughs> how can I put it um right ah uh, other YouTubers out there who don't recommend stuff ever but they do point stuff out on the airsoft techs and two brands are constantly mentioned constantly for repairs broken gearboxes Rets gears power issues feeding issues do you want to know who they are? VFC and Crytac. But what you don't hear of are the gas blowback versions of them two, which tend to be pretty solid, to say the least. And I can't knock my, <laughs> my G3 period, not one little bit. That thing is beautiful. You know, I've got a couple of BFCs up here as well, pistols. They don't like the cold. No, the G3 does, but them two don't. Um, that's the uh, VXP 9mm that hates the cold, that just freezes its own bloody mags. Now, anyway, that's not the point. 
AEGs on the more expensive brands tends to be pretty crap and the quality control is just shocking but then you get the smaller companies like New Pro who have changed to Raven who have now changed to Borsk they do make good AEGs solid gearboxes you don't hear of them breaking you know little things wear out but that's a fact of life but they're properly shimmed every single one that I've ever seen on YouTube and they split the gearbox say it's properly shimmed but I've heard bad stories about the other more expensive brands anyway right now onto my boneyard gun which is a bit of a unique one but this <laughs> I absolutely love it and it is plagued with bugs like um, when I bought it off uh, the boneyard the magazine wasn't feeding well the coil spring had snapped off its uh, retention point so I just re-bent it where it wasn't broke stuffed it back into its retention point wound it up fired great used it for a while and it did have electric blowback on it which is in my opinion pretty lame because it has a weak point the charging handle on the dust cover rattles itself to bits boings the springs everywhere loses the black bit on top and then eventually snaps the rest of it off so why have it it works perfectly well without it now on mine i've decommissioned that but i've kept the spring detent and it's got a bit sticky but it, it will loosen up eventually i think the guide bars broke bent but so yeah anyway what a decent bit of kit solid wood solid metal it's the s and variant so solid wood solid metal so where's black is metal whereas brown is wood and uh, yeah there are normally a lot of debates on how to hold this yeah uncomfortable that's more like it and then just let rip boom and yeah the select split on this was playing up a bit once of like slimy a bit of twiddling a bit of uh, readjusting and boom back on point I'm talking of selector points, uh, not selector, the um, disconnect for semi, that needs replacing in my Freedom Fighter, so I've got one of them on the way. I might even do a video on my repairing of that. Let me know what you think in the comments, should I attempt it on film? I have attempted a couple, it takes quite a long time because I'm pretty slow with it and methodical, but this what a thing what a brilliant brilliant bit of kit like i say solid everything about it works as it should Oops, bb's out and then the little uh, tab clips back up underneath to hold it in and away you go you can hold it like that if you want well, I think it's more comfortable than it like that you manage the weight at the front of it because it is excessively heavy but still what a nice bit of kit it is I'm really chuffed to have this one in my collection s and is not bad Aries are not bad I've got the M4 pistol up there when that first came out that has had virtually nothing done to it except a T-plug put on it that's it 
and I've pumped a lot of rounds through that thing and it is a nice little cheeky pew pew and I do use it quite a bit as a backup to my sniper because I can stick the battle axe drum mag in it and that holds a few spare rounds here and there and it's not shite I'll tell you anyway I've rambled on enough so there's my views on quality control and the companies who are supposed to be great and are not and the companies that are not supposed to be great are epic like I say with that new pro reinforced gearbox decent in the barrel not great but decent because it's a tight boss 6.3 does the job keep it clean it works the hot rubber could do with replacing eventually and I probably will but still a reliable usable bit of kit even after almost four years this has had a fair bit of use considering and yeah like I say smashed off that charging handle but I've got a new one on it now so I can uh, detent the spring on it which is a handy feature in a lot of these airsoft guns so yeah PPS H41 the ARC 21 brilliant brilliant guns a lot of fun anyway till next time guys play safe be safe always call your freaking hits